Well, I tried a little something different this year. We normally grew the Hickory King field corn half for years, but we want to try something different. So we grew a bloody butcher variety. Had some friends that have grown it back in the past and it's given us some, so I said, well, I'm going to try that. Finally got some seed. Seed can be a little difficult to come by. Found some seed, planted it, and it did well. We had a good spring, made a good crop. Uh, so we got it off the cob, I mean, we got it off the stalk, and it turned off the rain a lot. So we had a little bit of an issue with it drying out. So you got to make sure these, these ears and the moisture content is dried pretty good so it'll work good in your shelter. If it's not dried out good, it ain't going to sell good. So you got to make sure they get that moisture content down. I bought this corn sheller a few years ago in North Georgia at a flea market. And I ain't no telling how old it is. But you uh, just put your corn in there, turn it, and there's teeth right in there. Take the uh, take the corn off the cob. And it's got a, this particular one's got a cob ejector on it. So once it comes down, it ejects that cob up through here, and you can take it out and throw it in your bucket. Uh, this one works really good. It's got an adjustment right there so you can adjust the size of the cob. I don't hardly ever use it, but this there if you need it. They ain't no telling how old this thing is. I think I paid like 75 bucks for it and it had a box with it. Now the box was about rotten, so I had to come back and build me another box and I just mounted my corn shell permanently on this box. So this is what we use when we shell corn. Uh, we'll take this right here. We'll put it in the freezer for a few days to help kill them weevil eggs and then we'll take it out and we'll grind it we'll make meal out of it grits out of it now when you grind this it is a white type of meal and the grits but it'll have red specks in it so we're kind of looking forward to that So we got our bloody butcher corn shelled, uh, got it in bags. Now it's time to shell this trucker's favorite here. So uh, dad grew the bloody butcher in his garden and I grew the trucker's favorite in my garden. And uh, just like the bloody butcher, this was our first time growing this trucker's favorite corn. It's uh, for me a variety around here from back in the day because it used to be a staple at the market stands. A lot of the old timers used to grow this and sell it at the market stand. So, we were familiar with the variety, but it had never actually grown it until this year. It's also a very heat tolerant variety, and so it does really well down here in Zone B. And uh, we were more than happy with our turnout on it. We didn't have any worms on it, and most of the ears filled out really nicely, as you can see here. So we had this corn, uh, this and the Bloody Butcher sitting in the greenhouse for about a week, uh, drying out, had the fan on it to keep the weevils off of it. And once we shell all this, we'll put it in bags and put it in the freezer. That way we keep the weevils off of it there too. And then when we get time, we'll grind it up and make cornmeal out of it.
There you go, start to finish, trucker's favorite. This here is our first shaking out of it, and this is cornmeal. Our second shaking right there is grits. What we have left over from our second shaking, we put in the bucket, we call that scratch. We give that back to the chickens. <laughs>